Hey guys, welcome to your reading. Today we're going to take a look and find out what is next for this connection. So keep in mind this is going to be a general read. So if you pick a pile and it's not resonating, feel free to take a look at another pile or you can take a look at all three. Um, use your intuition, guys, above above all because this is a general reading for, for the collective. So not every message may resonate. Um, Timestamps will be below. And if you guys are interested in personals, all that is below as well. And we'll dive in with pile one. Hi, Pile One. Welcome to your reading. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna take a look here and find out what is next for your connection. Um, I'm gonna start with the energy oracle. So we'll just find out kind of what's going on, the overall energy currently here, and then we'll go into the tarot and find out what's next. Okay. So um, keep in mind this is general. So we'll use your own intuition and take what resonates. And if this pile is not resonating, feel free to take a look at another pile. All right. What's the energy of of this connection, Pile One? Okay, we have happy family coming out. <clears throat> Followed by contract in the reverse. Okay, well, I see where this is going already. All right. <clears throat> the world. Okay, envy. Endure to spirit, yeah. There's something here. I feel like one or both of you may be connected elsewhere. Okay, so it is like there needs to be a contract that ends, right? And it's read next to the happy family card. So, I mean, this is kind of the energy that is coming out. Um, so I do feel like a contract has to end here on somebody's side, whether it be yours, theirs, both, I don't know, uh, the world though, but you guys have this amazing opportunity here at the center of all this. So the energy is there for this. Um, I mean, it's a brand new world, right? But you may have to go through some stuff or they may have to, or both, you know, I don't, I don't know, but I do feel like whoever is in this contract that needs to and I mean, this could be a soul contract. This could be, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be a marriage, but I mean, it is next to this. So I don't know. Um, there's something here where whoever is there, they feel trapped. Okay. They, they long to, I don't know, leave that, see what's out there. And I do feel like <clears throat> with door to spirit in the reverse, it is something here where I, I feel like they've been getting signs, but whoever this is kind of is, you know, they're just staying here, right? So they're ignoring the possibilities. Um, and I don't know the circumstances. We're going to get into that here whenever we, um, whenever we look into the tarot, but that is the gist of the energy here. So if this sounds like you, we're going to go over now and um, take a look and find out what's next. Okay. So clearly, guys, and, and again, if it's not your message, then it's not yours today. But this is, <laughs> I feel like we're going to probably go in a specific direction for this. So, all right. Well, if that sounds like you, let's find out what is next for this connection here. We have the Nine of Wands, <laughs> followed by the Nine of Pentacles, okay? King of Wands. All right. All right, file one. Well, you know... It, it's kind of staying in theme for the energy here. I feel like somebody is tired of being trapped over here. Okay, it's been it's been a long time for whoever this King of Wands is. Again, could be a fire sign, doesn't have to be. Uh, but this is, you know, it's all about freeing themselves, okay? Closing out a cycle with the two nines here as well. Um, so we saw that, right? So a contract needs to end for, for this person in order to pursue this connection. So let's find out a little more about this King of Wands here. <clears throat> Queen of Pentacles and Justice. Okay. All right, file one. Well, this is definitely going to be a third party read. So again, if you're not here for that, then this uh, probably isn't your pile. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles and Justice. I mean, this person definitely wants to, um, you know, it, it seems like there has to be an ending on their side with a Queen of Pentacles. I mean, I'm just, you know, um, seven of swords at the bottom in the moon. So I do feel like for a lot of you, this is a secret connection here. So whether your person's connected, you're connected, it doesn't matter. There's been some deception here and, and a lot of stuff's been kept under, under the surface, right? Um, we have six of wands and the eight of pentacles. So this person is definitely working on a way out. Okay. And I feel like even though at the moment, uh, they may be having a hard time actually tapping into what spirit's trying to tell them, what the divine is trying to show them here. I feel like this person knows, you know, they know they can't really sit in this. It's, it's like the, the contracts almost stop. So whether they solidify that in the 3d or not, um, you know, the karmic cycle has kind of come to an end as we see the two nines, right? So it's, it's getting near, <laughs> it's drawing near. Um, and I think this person can feel it. So yeah, looks like there is, um, some big decisions here coming up in this connection in the future. All right. What's wrong with that nine of pentacles? The five of swords. Yes. Yeah. So there is a lot of confusion here. And I do feel like this person, like they really want to be free of this, but I feel like when they start to think about what it would take here to do this, then they get in their head, you know, they start to like, Oh, I'll just, I'll just 
sit right here and just wait and, you know, be unhappy. And, um, yeah, so it's kind of that energy. So I still feel like what is next here? Um, I think this person's going to go and, and continue to try to think about, uh, basically how to liberate themselves. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll keep going and see if there's any action cards here, but I think this person's kind of getting a clue on, um, the nagging fact that this isn't going to go away. So if they try to put that off in the past, it's like, you know, I, it's the feeling of wanting something different and to end a cycle here isn't going to go away, right? All right, nine of wands, what's read with that? <clears throat> Temperance, yeah, it's been a long battle for this person, <laughs> you know? I think they fought with themselves in between doing the right thing and doing what their heart was kind of telling them to do here. Um, and so they are wounded. They've got a lot of stuff here. I mean, when you see temperance, it's red with the nine of wands. This indicates it's been a long struggle for this person. Okay. Um, and there is, there's an element. I, I think that they need to, I don't know, kind of come to grips with the situation here. Cause it feels like they know what they want, but then there's like this, uh, oh, you know, but what if this happens or what if that, or, you know, I've got to do all this, it, you know, it is that. So I think, I think for the near future, which is what we're pulling on here, because I don't really do timelines that are too far out because then you, you know, I mean, it's less accurate, right? So it feels like this person is definitely going to try to overcome this five of swords behavior. They still have some work to do. And I think this person's like needs to go within here. And, and it's like we saw door to spirit in the reverse. So it's like they, they may have some blockages. I don't know. You know, the king of wands can definitely be in his ego, right? And not really listening to that higher guidance. So... You know, there's an element here. All right, let's start clarifying. What is that Nine of Wands? Yeah, well, it's Ten of Swords, and it is coming to that point where I feel like this person is seeing the signs. They know that whatever their the the karmic situation was that they were in. You know, doesn't again, it doesn't have to be a marriage, but I'm just kidding. For a lot of you, it kind of is. Um, it it's time it's time to end that. Okay. So I feel like they're tired of struggling. So it's like, if this person tried to put it off, it's just like, okay, um, I'm ready to, to be free of something and see what else, you know, life has to offer here. Right. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. Three of Wands. So, <clears throat> you know, again, for immediate future, I think this person is going to sit here and reflect and really get the courage up here to do this because it is going to take courage. You know, um, it's scary out there, right? In the water, you don't know if there's sharks out there. I mean, you're like thinking about it because it looks, it looks nice, <laughs> you know, it looks really nice, but what's, what's under there, right? So it is a little bit of facing your fears, which I think this person is doing here. Um, but there is the waiting energy. They're still kind of like in this. Okay. All right. King of wands. Why is he here? <clears throat> The page of wands yeah it's something here about like really wanting to see what's out there again like explore um you know there's a there there's a lot of just desire honestly to be happy here you know to be free they they really want to just break free right like this is a happy card uh but then they stop themselves okay because there's a lot involved right in this whole thing page of wands let's see yeah, for a lot of you, this person wasn't planning on um, meeting you. I mean, but I feel like the universe put you in one another's path for a reason here. So I think this person is starting to wake up to that maybe a possibility. <laughs> um, it's the two of swords. So yeah, they're at a crossroads and they really want to take that risk, that leap to go into the unknown. Um, they're starting to think about it. And again, there's still that five of swords, right? High Priestess and the Empress. Yeah, there's a knowing here. So for a lot of you, I do feel like this person tried to ignore this. They've tried to really continue to stay in the something that was that was already done, right? Um, but all the while, their intuition was telling them, like, you were put into their path for a reason here. They just weren't seeing it, okay? So Ace of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. Um, For a lot of you, this person and you... Um, this is something that I don't know that you've acted on here, okay? Because it feels like this person's tried to keep their distance from you, okay? Maybe tried to, again, like, act like everything's good on their side. Um, and the Ace of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. So it, there is an element here that they really, they're motivated by that. You know, they want to, um, mm, they want to seal the deal here with you sexually, okay? So that's there. That's a layer I just 
just <laughs> came out here, guys. Um, it is that. This person's been trying to hold themselves back, okay? Because they know that to do things right, they've got to make it indie. I mean, it is that. So they put it off and they've kept themselves away from, you know, what they really want here. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's admirable. I, I think, and that's not going to apply to everybody. Okay, so again, just that was a message for some. <laughs> Five of Swords, let me see, what is that? <clears throat> Four of Cups, yeah. I feel like for a lot of you, this person, um, for some of you, you could have told them how you felt they could have, you know, just not reciprocated here too um, because of fear, because they were trying to do the right thing. So message for some, but this does feel like this person is tired. Okay. They're tired. The more they sit in this and they five of swords, this ish, it is like, okay, let me just, let me just go out there. I, it's going to be scary, but I, I can't, you know, something it's really hard to sit in and they do, they feel very regretful because I think for a lot of them, they didn't give you answers here. You know, you, you haven't gotten any kind of clarity, any, any answers. It is, that so they know that they they need to work on that so again they've got to come to some kind of decision here it feels like right um all right temperance eight of wands yeah there's forward movement um here is what they want but they continue for the time being here i feel like for the near future they're going to sit here um and they're going to try to plan this right because there has to be an ending there is something has to wrap up here. Okay. Um, so the nine and then it goes to the eight and it is, there's a waiting energy here. So pile one near future, what this connection is going to be is this person's going to really start to feel uh, their situation and, and not having what it is that they, what, what it is that they really want that makes them happy with you. Um, and it's really going to force them here. Okay. They've got to move forward. Uh, it's just a timing thing here because I do think this person really needs to I don't know. They need to figure out what it is that they want and what they're willing to do here, you know, because something has run its course. So, you know, are you just going to sit in there? <laughs> are you going to make some tough decisions? I don't know. Let's start pulling on some of these. What is that Ten of Swords? Ace of Swords, yeah. <laughs> Death and the Page of Wands. Well, this person knows the truth, okay? They've sat here. Uh, it's like this I don't know. This energy feels really tired. I'm not going to lie. Um, and they're not really listening to the universe here when, when it's showing them the way, you know, they're refusing. And the King of Wands is definitely that. I mean, can be in his ego. And I feel like that's, that's got them to this point. Okay. Um, but there's a truth, right? That they know and a conversation that's going to be had here, um, that revolves around the ending, right? Death, rebirth, that it has to, something has to end for something else to begin here. Right. And the page of wands, again, you know, they want to see where this can go. So they're just going to sit over here and wonder and do a lot of like fantasizing and thinking and, and live in this regret if they don't do it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Four of cups. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> three came out and the, the one that was flipped over was the four of cups. Okay. The star. And the Four of Swords. Yeah, this person needs to do some healing work. And I think that's what's going to be next for this connection. They can't move forward. You guys can't move forward with them until they do that. I mean, it is something here that's going to be difficult, I think. Um, yeah, King of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, it feels like a time of reflection for them, to be honest, um, to gather their thoughts, to figure out what they want the future to look like here. What Again, what they're willing to do. The Nine of Wands and the Seven of Cups. This person's been in the state of confusion for a while here. It's like it's like the ball's about to drop. I mean, you just have to pick. You know, it's like decide. Uh, you know, they either have to in that or let you guys go, right? Like, and and they definitely don't want that. I mean, you're. I think again, you're this person's like escape here. So it just it's like the universe showing them what what life could be. Okay, so again you know, society tells us one thing, but when do we stop listening to that and actually listen to our soul? I think that's what is going on with them right now. Okay. Nine of pentacles, three of swords, the wheel and the page of cups. Okay. So again, this person really wants to break free. I mean, they want to go out there. They want to do it in it. And that's what, just what I was saying. I mean, they're sitting here and, and they're not doing it. Um, and it's causing them a lot of a lot of pain here with the three of swords. The wheel is about to turn though. And I do feel like this person here, 
uh, may come forward with like a small gesture, page of cups right behind that. So um, a little bit more of emotions here, you know, possibly reaching out. I don't, I don't know. Uh, for some of you, that could be it. Mm, five of swords, king of swords. Yeah, they feel like they know that they owe you something here, but they've been guarded to telling you. So that is the sabotaging stuff, right? Like they want to be, they want to be free, but they're not quite there yet and ready to make that final decision. So I think they hold back from you guys. Okay. All right, let's do one more and then we'll get out of here. Pile one temperance. Let's see. The imprint. Empress. I was going to rhyme it with temperance here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, queen of swords and the knight of pentacles. Um, I do feel like you, you guys are their empress here. Okay. And they are waiting and um, they're doing the work for you. I mean, it's not easy. It feels like whatever this karmic situation here is has to be put to bed first and then they then they will be able to give freely you know it's the queen of swords and the knight of pentacles so it's almost like they do know that you guys are like you've been waiting here okay and ultimately i think their thing is here is this communication to let you know so that could be what we saw with the page of cups you know for some of you i mean some some of them definitely could just reach out and be like hey i'm <laughs> I'm doing some things here. Um, I don't know. There's an element of patience here. So, I mean, you know, again, don't wait. You know, don't put your life on hold for this person. But it does feel like they are in the process of, of actually coming to terms with what needs to be done here. Okay. All right, Pile One. Well, this was a pretty specific message. And honestly, I may note that in the timestamps. And I know some of you don't. I mean, we couldn't we couldn't get around this. So I, I really hope that this reached whoever needed to hear this today. And if it did, love to hear if this resonated with you guys below. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button on your way out. And uh, if you're interested in personals, all that is below. All right, my loves. I will talk to you in the next one. Bye, Pile One. Hi, Pile 2. Welcome to your reading. Um, so today we're going to take a look and find out what is next in this connection. So we're going to start with the energy oracles just to get the current energy of the connection. And you guys can tell if you pick the right pile. Okay, so uh, keep in mind this is going to be general. So if, you know, it's not your energy today, then definitely take a look at another pile. All right, let's go. What's the energy of this connection, Pile 2? Angel of Balance. Door to Romance. Okay. Wow, Six Chakra. Okay, we have the thinking woman and she's in the reverse and anxiety. Okay, well, pile two, I think you guys, listen, there's something here about trusting your intuition. I think you already know what this connection is. Okay, uh, but there is there is some kind of fear. You're overthinking something here, and it's turning into a little bit of anxiety for you. <laughs> okay, so there's a need to balance this. Uh, door to romance is in the upright, though. So I mean, I feel like there there's definitely a positive energy around this connection. Whether or not you're doubting this, I mean, you know, everybody we're humans, right? So it's it, it is that. But I think that there is um, an inner knowing of where this is going to go. Um, yeah. So that is the energy here. So if this sounds like you. Um, Let's go over to the tarot. <laughs> okay. All right. What is next for this connection for pile two? King of Pentacles. <clears throat> Seven of Pentacles. And the Six of Swords. Yeah. Well, again, I'm getting for a movement here. And I feel like for a lot of you, that's where the anxiety comes in because it's like the seeds have been planted here, but it's been really slow. Okay. And I feel like the energy is saying basically it's about to take off. Okay, so again, this this person, whoever you're having the little bit of overthinking, you know, anxiety about here, um, they've balanced themselves in some kind of way. So I don't know if they've, I don't know if they've been working on something here, or they just kind of did some inner work. This person is coming back, and I feel like they've, they've, they're way more grounded here, you know, and I'm getting that connection as well. So I feel like, you know, again, I think your energy spread was basically to tell you, I think, you know, that this person has been doing the work here and that, um, again, for some of you in separation this time around, it'll be different, right? For others of you that you're actively with this person, um, you know, that you can probably tell, like, I think you could probably see it. So yeah, there's forward movement. Let's, let's do that six of swords. Why is that here? The Empress. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, this person's definitely on their way towards you. So again, guys, I, I feel like you just need to kind of trust, right? You know what? And this is fitting because the eight of swords is at the bottom of the deck here for you. 
and the fool. <laughs> it is, okay, it is trust, right? Like that, that's just what I was saying, right? It is calling for you guys to have faith here in this connection. So um, I feel like this person is headed towards you. It may feel like they're taking their sweet ass time here. Okay, with the seven of pentacles. But I think for you, pile two, it's going to be worth the wait. And I am going to tell you, you would already know. This isn't some F boy or F girl here that's been, you know, screwing you guys around for, for whatever. This is like um, something that your intuition, your third eye has already shown you um, where this connection can go. Okay. And so I feel like for a lot of you, you've just been kind of waiting on this person to um, to see it, to kind of get with the program here. And it feels like they have. Okay. You're the empress. So I feel like they're coming towards you. Um, it is slower, right? It's just slow. I, you know, I, I don't know, but I think it's, it's going to be something that's going to be worth the wait here. Okay. So, all right, let's see. Let's wrap with that seven. By the way, you know, I was, I was just putting my cards back. It's the chariot that came, came out here. So maybe, I don't know, maybe this is going to speed up. <laughs> All right, let's see. Seven of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. See, you guys have this coming. There's a new beginning in love. I think this person knows it. You know it. Um, it just may take some time here. And I don't know. I mean, everybody's situation is going to be different as to why it, this is kind of moving a little slower. Um, but it's here. I mean, it's it's finally here. So I think you you just kind of have to let go, detach here. Okay, um, you know, me and my friend were just talking about that. So it's it's hard. It's hard sometimes, right? Because we want to overthink everything and you know nitpick everything and like oh uh, you know. So it is that, and it, it, it takes practice. So all right, King of Pentacles. Let's wrap with this. King of Cups. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, this person's in love with you. <laughs> um, I feel like this person wants to take care of you. They want to move things forward. And again, you guys, it's like you, it's like, you know, that this person is, is somebody here that's going to balance you out, that you're going to have this amazing connection with and that they're worth the wait, you know? So again, and I'm not talking about somebody who strings you along and like, is that Knight of Wands? This is not that. Okay. This is the King of Cups, King of Pentacles very grounded. They know what they want here. Um, there's a lot of love. There's a lot of feelings here. Okay. This is somebody who, again, I feel like they want to take care of you. I don't know. Pile two. It's pretty sweet energy. Okay. Well, let's, let's find out why is that King of Pentacles here? Two of Pentacles. Well, there's, there's a choice. And for some of you, um, you may have a choice between two people here. So I don't know that that might be a layer. Um, I feel like this person wants to balance this kind of what I'm getting and it feels like they've they've been trying okay and that's why it's taken so long and I and I think this person may have had a choice right they may have had a decision here like I don't know it feels like they've just uh, they've come into balance honestly so again whatever that means for them whether they've you know it is connected to the king of cups so it definitely could be them <clears throat> becoming more grounded and more stable but also getting in touch with this kind of um, the inner emotions, right? So I don't know. Let's see. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. Death and rebirth. Well, I feel like it's coming guys. Okay. So there's something here happening. There's something in the work, something about this connection is transforming. There's forward movement and, and that's kind of it. Okay. So I think this person does know that you, you've been waiting. Okay. They've kept you waiting, but they want to prove, okay. When they come back again, this is something that is going to be worth waiting for. And I think a lot of you have been getting like, you know, whether or not you're in contact with this person, it's like, you know, that they've been doing the work. So this person just hasn't been sitting there doing nothing. Um, yeah, there's like big changes about to happen. I feel for you pile too. Okay. Six of swords. Yeah. The Hierophant. This is like headed to, <laughs> this is headed to the next level. Okay. So while this person may be slow, um, their, their end goal here is to get to the top of the staircase with you guys. Okay. So, you know, the six of swords, it's, it's moving, it's moving, but it, it, you know, it takes a little while. Let's see that hierophant. Four of wands. That's what I was saying. Okay. Well, this person wants, I mean, you are, <laughs> this is like happily ever after pile two. So again, and I feel like, you know, who this person is and you know what they've been doing and it's all leading up to this. I mean, this is the big, you know, celebration moment here, uh, where this connection transforms. And I really do think it is because this person has balanced themselves out. The high priestess and the queen of cups. I mean, yeah, you guys know, you guys know this person has a lot of love for you. Um, 
yeah, this is definitely a connection worth waiting for if you're resonating with this pile. And I feel like this person's intentions here are to do just that. I mean, so, you know, I think they're going to make it worth your wait. Um, again, you know, I mean, if you feel like you're being breadcrumb, definitely don't sit there. But this person's intentions, what's next for this is for movement into this more, again, higher level commitment, right? Ace of Cups. Page of Wands, yeah. What are you pulling up? This, I feel like this, uh, this may be something new for your person, this connection with you, this, this, whatever this is has transformed them. Okay. So there is, there is, there could be a risk involved here. I don't know. Something calling them to maybe do something they've never done before. I don't know. Let's see. Page of Wands. Three of Pentacles strength. Yeah, this person could definitely have been very focused on finances. They could have been good on their own here. Um, and so taking this leap here towards this Four of Wands, Ace of Cups, Hierophant thing with you, it, it's going to require strength. They they have to trust too. So it's like you guys have to trust that this is coming around and then they have to trust that this is going to work out. Okay. Um, all right. King Cups. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this person has held back, I feel like, definitely from emotions. And I think that's exactly what they've done here is, is really... I mean, kind of heart chakra stuff. You know, I'm drawn to the green here. Um, I think that's kind of what, what they've done here to balance themselves. Okay. This is something too that I think was a little hard for them at first to wrap their heads around, you know, um, what this connection could turn into with you, what they want, where they see themselves with this. So it may have taken them a while, right? Because it is just that, but the transformation has kind of happened. And I feel like this person's like ready to go. You know, they're just ready for this to happen. They've done the work. They've grounded themselves. They've balanced themselves. Um, and I do think that this person's actually also learning how to trust. Okay. In the unknown, like, you know, we don't, we don't know what's out there. The page of wands is just throwing up the wands. Like she don't, she don't care. She's going for it. Right. Um, it's something very transformative. And I think it's taken this person a while, but this connection with you, was definitely the catalyst for this. Wow, pile two, this is very sweet. Let's see, um, let's pull out two of pinnacles. Yeah, Knight of Swords. It's like this person knew that they needed to balance something here uh, before they came forward. And I think that's what they did. So the Knight of Swords is a message of change. I think this person definitely wants to let you know. I mean, they wanna show you here, right? They're serious about this. Temperance, that's it they've healed they've done something here um i don't know it's a lot of personal transformation here for them that is leading uh to nothing but forward movement here to exactly what it is that you guys want like with that door to romance card i mean <clears throat> i feel like the door is just about to blow wide open for you guys here all right let's do that four pinnacles the sun. Yeah. I mean, you make this person extremely happy. And again, there's been something illuminated to them here. You know, <laughs> they can't let you go. And, and this is, uh, it's that it's like a breaking free, um, again, a just going with the flow type of energy, a trusting that this will all come together, even though they may not know exactly how, right. All right. Wow. Okay. Let's do the seven of pentacles really quick and we will, um, get out of here by two. Six of Swords. It's time. Yeah, I feel like this is pile two. You, your pile, you definitely have forward movement here. I feel like what is next in this connection is this person's definitely going to step up here. Okay, so if you've been wondering, I think this person has really done a lot of inner work, and I think they want to show you. Um, Ace of Cups at the bottom. Yeah, this is forward movement after a while of waiting. Okay, so wow, I love this for you, pile two. I'm going to leave that here today. Pretty specific message, so I'd love to hear if this resonated with you guys out there. Um, and if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're interested in personals, all of that is below. All right, my loves, I'll talk to you the next one. Bye, pile two. Hi, pile three. Welcome to your reading. So today we're going to take a look and find out what is next for this connection. Um, I'm going to do the energy oracles first here to get an energy check-in of the current energy for you guys um, so that you know if you pick the right pile or not. So keep in mind, this is going to be general. So if the energy is not yours, definitely take a look at another pile. All right. All right, pile three. What's the energy here? Let's see. Attachment. Okay. The garden and the gate. <laughs> Indecision. Okay. Community. Yeah. 
happy family. All right, well, pile three, this feels like there is a, clearly a decision here. Uh, there's crossroads in this connection, and it does feel like somebody's kind of trapped. So I don't know if this is your your person here with attachment, the garden and the gates. And then we have community. So there's something here that this, this connection could be taboo. Uh, some people could not approve of it, and that's why this person or you stay and, and hold back. So there's a decision clearly, and I think that's the energy um, of the connection here. With happy family in the reverse, I am going to say, you know, this this could be one of one or both are, are connected elsewhere. Okay. doesn't have to be. I mean, this could indicate that this person has a family that may not approve of this connection or just your situations may not align uh, for this connection to come together. Okay. So there's some sort of attachment here um, to maybe something that's not, it seems like a block. Okay. Just for however that goes for you. Um, yeah, that's kind of it here. And it feels like, too, that somebody's really ready to almost release this. So I feel like the decision here is it, it's heavy in the energy for the connection here. So, again, if you're resonating, you may want to check out pile one. I'm just saying. Um, but, yeah, I feel like there's a big choice. Okay, so this is kind of the current energy. But let's find out what is next. So if you, <laughs> if this sounds like your situation, then we'll jump over to the tarot here and find out what is next in this connection for you, pile three. The Emperor, yeah, okay. The Hanged Man. Ten of Swords. All right, let me pull on that Ten of Swords really quick, but I feel like there's, again, there's somebody here who feels that they're trapped. Um, they, uh, they're they kind of in the Hanged Man, suspended right now about what to do. The, the forefront of this is, of what's coming up, is there's an ending of some sort, so let's find out what this is. Ten of Swords. <clears throat> Well, it's death. Okay, so that's really, yeah, it's an ending. Hmm. Four, okay, four of wands. All right, pile three. Well, you know, I um, it's kind of going there for some of you. And again, if this is not um, a commitment that this person's already in, then this, again, could be a family dynamic, something. It's just something on their side. Maybe it's work for you, right, where this person would have to make an ending there you know, to, to move this connection forward with you. So if they've been focused on finances and they felt stuck and they, and they really don't have the time to give to this connection, you know, maybe this is them making that ending. But again, for those of you resonating with third party stuff, this is what it looks like could possibly be next. Okay. So behind that, we do have the two of swords. I just wanted to point out. So it feels like, again, decision time here, right? Uh, okay. Well, let's find out what's wrong with that hanged man. Seven of Cups, it's, it's choices, it's confusion, it is trying to figure out what to do here. Okay, a little bit of, little bit of limbo. All right, what's wrong with the Emperor? Goodness, okay, Four of Cups, well. There's a sense of apathy. This person feels like they don't know what to do. It's like they know what they want to do, but they, they feel, again, I feel like there's some, some sort of reason why they stay. It's like they... They have this mask they have to wear to keep up appearances or something with the community card back there. Um, and they feel trapped, right? Like in this garden and this gate. And while I think, you know, again, and I just want to go back over here really quick so you guys can see. It's like, yes, this this garden's beautiful, but what's what else is out there? I think the energy of this connection is this person trying to figure out... Um, how they would let something go here that no longer serves. So again, that's going to be different for everybody, but this is going to be the energy of pile three. So, you know, that's kind of where they are uh, currently. So again, they're assessing the situation. They're really trying to get some clarity here. They know that some sort of ending is going to have to be made, you know, in order to pursue this connection. Um, and I feel like whatever it is that they're in, they're really, they're really wanting to open that gate and just kind of go for it, even though it may cause conflict. I mean, it's just, it just feels like some, somebody out there may not approve of them doing this. Okay. So that, and that, I mean, for you, that could mean them like having to, I don't know, leave a group of friends, right? And then of course those friends aren't going to be happy about that. So I don't know. It's going to be different for everybody, but that's the gist of it here. Okay. The emperor. Okay, well, it just <laughs> four of wands. Um, yeah, there, there's something here. I think for a lot of you, that's this person may be connected elsewhere. But you know, again, 
this could speak to just a dynamic that they've already created for themselves, okay? So if they already have this thing built and then you came along and now they've got to make an ending on something, it's kind of that. Um, okay, the Hanged Man. Ace of Wands. Well, again, this person really wants this with you. There's a lot of there's a lot of passion and desire, and I really feel like you you guys spark this this creative side to this person, where again they felt trapped in this garden, and you're making them want to open that gate and find out what's out there. Okay, I feel like this person's really just they're getting some sort of clarity here as well, and I'm I, you know the hanged man and, and this I feel like. <laughs> the longer they sat in this and just kind of played the part in whatever it was that they were in here, um, it, it sparked something here. This person's thinking right now. So, you know, I'm not seeing action, so I'm not even going to get your hopes up here, pile pile three, that this is going to happen like in the next week or two, right? Um, but they're, they're thinking about it. They're actually getting some insight here. Um, and I feel like this person's like, I don't know. They're like bossing up here to maybe make some big changes, um, you know, big changes that might not sit well with a lot of people. Okay. Ten of Swords. Nine of Cups. This person just wants to be free. Okay. There is something there that's holding them back, that's keeping them stuck from experiencing what they feel like would be just this explosive, amazing, you know, just... I don't know, beautiful thing, right? They want to be happy and that there's an ending. And then it's like this person just wants to free themselves, right? So you are this person's wish fulfillment. You are the driving force behind this to get them to actually take a look at their situation and reassess what it is that they actually want, what makes them happy here. Okay. Nine of cups. It's like a rock in a hard place. <clears throat> the tower. Yeah. They're having a lot of inner stuff here. So near future, what is next for this connection? I feel like a lot of stuff that this person wants to believe is it's coming to an end here. So whether or not they actually go forward and make these endings right now, the the internal aspect of this is coming down. Okay. So the confusion, um, it's it's becoming clearer now. Okay. The the fog is lifting, if you will. Yeah, three of swords at the bottom and the queen of cups. This person realizes that whatever this is, why they haven't pursued this connection with you um, is causing them a lot of pain. They want to be happy here, you know, and it's not going to be easy, but there's a lot of love here waiting on the other side. So, you know, it is kind of that and feels like what's going on here. Um, seven of cups, a hermit. <clears throat> there's been a lot again this is like perspective change this is clearing the fog right where there was confusion this person it's like more light is getting through to this person to to wake them up okay and you can see it's like the hermit even over here I mean it's like coming from our chest and then we have that which is kind of I, I don't know I mean this is definitely giving me like spiritual awakening stuff here okay uh, for this person to this connection so you know you may not be seeing a lot of movement here in the 3d but on this person's side there's a lot there's a lot going on internally here for them okay four of cups ace of pentacles well they want to be able to give you that that's really the truth here you know and and so because of whatever it is that keeps them back they're really having again it's it's just a reassessment a reevaluation of one's circumstances here and what it is that they really want you know, and again, for a lot of you, it can speak to you. They've had to ignore this connection because of, again, whatever they've had on their side, if you resonate with that. Okay. Uh, all right. What do we want to do? Let's do that. Let's do that seven of cups. <laughs> I already saw it. It's the Hierophant and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Um... Two of Cups and the Two of Wands. Yeah, this person feels like whatever it is that they are stuck in here, um, that's where the confusion came in because I feel like this person, again, very traditional. I'm getting there. There's a sense of, I don't know, there's something around them that makes them feel like they have to stay. There's some group or mindset or something like that that makes them feel like they have to stay trapped in the life that they're in. Okay. Uh, but the bottom of the deck, the hidden energy here is that... You know, they're not confused when it comes to you, okay? The Two of Cups and the Two of Wands. In fact, this person, like, dreams about a time when they could actually open that gate and sneak out and get a taste of what life would be like, you know, with you here. Um, 
by the way, Ace of Wands behind that and the Eight of Cups. It's enough here. Their passion, the, the spark that you started in this person is enough to make them, um, again, start to remove the fog here. <laughs> you know, start to see things clearly for what it is, what they're in, what they're sitting in, and what their spirit's kind of driving them to do, which is a completely different direction, and it's scary, right? You know. Um, okay. Let's do that hanged man. Six of Cups. Yeah, something from their past, again, that I feel like kept them stuck from experiencing this passionate, happy new start here with you. Okay. Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. This is why this person, yeah, whatever it is from their past, it's kept them stuck and it's kept them away from you, from experiencing what this connection could actually be. Could they go all in, right? Could they just like say, you know, F it and, and make the endings and go for it? Yeah, I mean, this person just really fantasizes here about just throwing it all up and, and just diving headfirst into you guys, <laughs> okay? Um, but there is something here where they, they, they have a sense of loyalty, I'm feeling, um, and that's why it's so tough for them here. Rock in a hard place, right? Ten of Swords and the High Priestess. They already know, though, that this has been coming. So that's the clarity that they've gotten. Their intuition is like really on fire, telling them that they have to do this. If they want to grow, they have to do this. This it, it no longer serves, right? <laughs> I mean, and it's not to say that this person can't still have these, you know, this in their life, but there is something they have to um, free themselves of the grip of basically what others are thinking about them, okay? How it's going to look. You know, again, I'm getting for a lot of you, this could be taboo. And that is the thing here, right? Um, so yeah. All right. Well, let's do the hermit. The magician. Well, this person actually has realized that they do have the tools here to do it. This person's awakening. Again, I was kidding that they are, they're tapping into their inner strength here. Again, for some of you, you could resonate as like divine counterparts here with the emperor as well. I think he's getting a lot of clarity, right? Seven of Cups and Temperance. I feel like the Divine has shown this person something, okay? There was confusion, and now it's starting again. It's like I'm just getting the fog has, has started to clear from their eyes here. Okay, so... All right, Pile 3. Well, I'm going to leave that here. I uh, Wow, this is a great reading. I feel like your person's doing a lot of inner work. They're starting to see things for what they are. And while you may not see the action in the 3D, I think there's a lot of, again, insight that this person is getting on what needs to be done here. So, all right, I'm going to leave it here, my loves. I do hope this resonated with some of you out there. If it did, love to hear from you below. And if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like the um, hit the like button on your way out and if you guys are interested in personals that is below all right i will talk to you guys next time bye pile three